Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about vaulted ceilings. I get a lot of calls from people, and uh, especially with our room forms. And it's amazing to me that everyone thinks, well, a lot of people think that their room is very unique because of this, that, or the other. And it's, it's not that unique. And I know everybody thinks their situation is a little bit special, but you have to view the usage of the room through the eyes of the room. Because the room only sees energy. It doesn't care what the source is. It doesn't care who made your speakers. It doesn't care who made your amplifier. It doesn't care about any of that stuff. You could take a little transistor radio and put it in the room and measure response. And you could take some big speakers and put it in the room and measure response. And you're going to see similarities. It's going to react the same way to each octave band, just with different strengths, obviously. The output of a transistor radio versus a four standing speaker. It's going to be amplitude. It's going to be energy. So the room is going to react to the energy. Now, how does it react? Very predictably and consistently based on its dimensions. So a lot of times we have these ceiling dimensions with vaults, and then we have a situation where we realize that the ceiling dimension of the three that compose a, uh, dimensions of rooms is the smallest. So it's going to create a lot of problems. But it's a unique problem, and let's focus on the uniqueness of the problem. Most of the floor-to-ceiling modes we see are dips in response. So if we have our response curve here, we usually see this double dip here below 100, and then a big slide. And if the slide is 60, 70, 80, and that's the floor to ceiling dimension almost 90% of the time. So it's a very, very critical dimension to get right for a couple of reasons. One, it's at a frequency that's in everything. And two, it's a dip in response. So you have this huge double peak and then this slide in response. Talk about spatial irregularities. Those can be 20 dB slides. That's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy that the room doesn't like because of the ceiling height dimensions. So we have a vaulted ceiling. Let's take 13 peak with eight foot sidewall. So we have 13 peak and then we got eight foot here, right? That's how that works. So you're gonna get a whole host of frequencies based on the dimensions, because the room only sees energy. So as that peak slides, you're gonna get bigger problems, and they're higher amplitude, because it's a smaller area. And that's why you get the dip, because of the pressure buildup. So we're gonna set up on the 13, obviously, because we wanna get the highest dimension we can. So if we have that option, and you should have that option in a critical listening room, we're going to set up on the 13. We're definitely not going to set up next to the 8-foot wall, right? We're going to take the biggest amount of space we can get. You've got to treat the floor-to-ceiling dimension. Everybody focuses on the four walls, okay? I get it. Those are the very important. But the floor-to-ceiling dimension really can produce more harm than the four walls together, if you think about it, and you look at the, the data that we have. So what are you going to do in the room? Sometimes you have to treat both the floor and the ceiling, mainly in live rooms where there's lots of energy. So what do we have to do that? Well, we have our CPA, which is our perforated absorber for the ceiling, starts about 65 cycles. Then we have our platforms, which can go down to 30. And then we have our CAW system, where we actually build the low frequency management into the ceiling or the floor or both. So there's all kinds of different options to treat. You just have to look at everything. You have to look at the amount of energy you're putting in the room, usage, and you have to look at what you're trying to accomplish. So vaulted ceilings, not a big deal, not anything special. We just have to be aware of this sliding scale, so to speak, in distortion and treat and position accordingly. Vaulted ceilings. I hope this helps. Thank you.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.